everybody, it's Holly here today for Mark Pop, and today we're going to be using some more watercoloring as our watercolor month is winding down. Be sure to head over to the blog to find out about how you can enter our watercolor giveaway. We have some great prizes up for grabs. I'm going to be using the W Plus 9 Beautiful Bouquet, I believe it's called Ranunculus. I have no idea how you properly say that, so we're going to go with that. So anyway, I'm going to be using a piece of Tim Holtz Watercolor Distress cardstock, and then I just used some... Um, powder on it to take any static away so that my embossing powder won't stick and then I'm going to ink it up with my Versamark ink pad and I'm using the large misty because um, I have part of the image coming off the paper and then once I have my image all inked up I'm going to go ahead and use some of the wow embossing powder and I'm using the glitter fool's gold embossing powder this is a real pretty like rose gold color I'm not a super huge fan of glittered embossing powders because the glitter seems to just keep coming off and going everywhere all the time, but this is just a really pretty color, so I kind of make an exception to it. <laughs> but you will see me struggle with it a little bit throughout. So once I make sure I've got all the extra off there, I'm going to go ahead and heat and emboss that. And you'll see it just has a lot of great shimmer and shine on the paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Ranger Craft mat that I have here on my table to as a palette. Sorry, I'm kind of off the uh, off the wind out of the window here with the camera. I zoomed in a little bit here for you, so you can't really see out of frame. This is the word I was looking for. I'm using my mini ink distress inks, and I'm just smooshing them onto the craft pad to make a palette. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and some water. And I'm using a mixture of worn lipstick. Um, Mandarin, the Mandarin Orange, Faded Jeans, Shabby Shutters, and, oh, what is the other one? Fern, the fern color, the dark green. <laughs> I will put them in the description box below. So I'm using a number four paintbrush, and I'm just adding a little bit of water to the paintbrush, and then I'm picking up the Distress Ink, and I'm adding just the color in just along the edge of each petal. I want to kind of leave a white opening or a really pale color in the center of the flower because I want the flower to look like it's going from pink to white or white to pink, however you want to say it. So I'm just going to keep going here and I'm picking up, oh I'm starting with sponge sugar first and then I'm going back over with the worn lipstick. And I'm just going to keep working. Um, I'm not putting, I'm putting water down first within the embossed area for the leaves, but I didn't do that with the petals of the flower. With the petals of the flower, like I said, I used the damp paintbrush and just kind of dropped the color in. But with the leaves, I'm putting the plain water in first, and then I'm dropping in the shabby shutters, and then I'm going back over it with the fern color. And then for these little berries, I'm using the faded jeans, and I do three layers on this one. I want to kind of gradually intensify the color. And then I'm using the orange color on the other flowers. So it's kind of a really odd color combo that I picked here. Not really sure what I was thinking when I did that. <laughs> so once I have all of the images colored in, I'm going to go ahead and heat set that with my heat tool. And you want to be careful when you're using embossing powder and you're going to heat set because you want to keep your brush, not your brush, your heat gun away from not super close to the paper because you don't want to keep heating that embossing powder. So you want to make sure you keep moving it around or heat it from the back, but you don't want to like over emboss that embossing powder because it will kind of fade off and disappear off the paper. And sometimes it can burn and discolor the embossing powder. So once I have it all heat set and I'm all done with my coloring, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my area and then I'm going to go back in with some weathered wood distress ink and I'm going to create a color in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of music and you guys can finish watching my process here. I'm not an expert at watercoloring, this is just how I did it with the distress inks. This is a quick easy way to do it. Nothing super fancy here, just adding layers of the Distress Ink. And you do want to make sure your layers are dry. 
each layer is dry before you lay down the next color or the next layer of the same color so that can help build intensify it. So here's what I'm going to go ahead and create the background. And for the background, I went ahead and added the water in first and then I picked up the color with the wet paintbrush and dropped the color in and moved it around a little bit. This helps kind of fade it out more and keep that nice uh, faded edge along the background. Once I have the background all set and ready to go the way I like it, I'm going to go ahead and heat set that as well. Just kind of dry the paper up and the paper will warp a little bit so you want to try to heat set it from the back and then the front kind of going back and forth to kind of even your paper out. You can also run it through Big Shot to help it out. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to be using a sentiment from a Mama Elephant set. I don't remember off the top of my head which set this is but I will put the link in the description below. And I'm going to be using some of the Wow Gold Embossing Powder. This is a matte powder. This one was kind of similar to that rose gold color, so I was trying to match it as best as I could. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat set that, and then I'm going to go ahead and trim that out with my scissors. And then I'm going to put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of the sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and trim a quarter of an inch off of the image panel here. On this is off the left side and I've got a piece of really pale light gray colored cardstock. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of the piece. You want to make sure you add lots of adhesive because it is watercolor paper. And make sure it doesn't work on your card. I'm going to trim off any excess that might be hanging over. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere the sentiment in the lower left hand corner with that piece of foam adhesive. And then with the rose gold um, embossing that I did for the flower that I used the gold for the sentiment. I kind of want to tie in more of the rose gold. So I used some rose gold sequins in four millimeter and six millimeter and some Ranger Multimedia matte. And I'm just putting those around the image. And that pretty much completes my card. So this is a really easy way to do some watercoloring with just your distress inks. With any simple image, you can easily mass produce these. So I hope you guys like this. And I will see you back again in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. And be sure to head over to the blog for all that information on our watercolor giveaway. Thanks. Bye-bye.